And there you see the title card for the 147-pound welterweight semifinal. Mark Breland against his opponent. <laughs> and Mark Breland is just an incredible fighter, but his opponent is Lewis Howard of St. Louis, who is a disciple of Sugar Ray Leonard, who is a tough kid, a brawling fighter. They have met only once. That was back in 1982 when Breland won his first national title. Breland, they had to stop that contest in favor of Breland in the second round. Now, Breland is so exceptional that he's been having trouble getting sparring partners in the Bedford Stuyvesant gym. Thus, he has found a new way. Grossinger's New York, the scene 10 days ago. Thomas Hearns right there working out in anticipation of his forthcoming title fight against Roberto Duran. And right there, the brilliant young welterweight hopeful currently in the Olympic trials, Mark Breland. Then the two of them spot. Breland to the left, turns to the right. Tommy just covering, but admiring of Breland's poise for one so young. And of course, Hearns did tab him once. But Breland impressed him mightily. Breland fights the way he did a couple of days ago in this bout against Marlon Watkins and this was in the Olympic trials currently underway. Watch Breland closely and you'll see the angular power much more powerful than he seems to be. Here Breland describes what happened. Well working with Tommy Hearns I you know watched him and the way he throw punches it made me even you know it made me learn how to really even turn my body even more 100% and when I throw the punches now, I don't feel nothing. It's just, it's just right there. Like the punch against Watkins. Yeah, that was great timing. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark Freeland right there. From Brooklyn, New York, his story pretty well told all over the country. Right down to motion pictures and performances therein. Third man in the ring is Bob Serkin, one of the great veterans of amateur boxing. And there is Lewis Howard, the young man from St. Louis, Missouri. Freeland will say things about an opponent, and from him, they don't sound cocky. It's not braggadocio. He told me Howard has a glass chin. But Freeland has had to learn, he has had to learn that you go into a tournament prepared to box. And you don't go into a tournament seeking to knock out the opponent. It's not the way. Too many things happen in the course of a tournament conducted over a short span of time. And too many fighters suddenly become unorthodox. For instance, in Montreal, Ray Leonard's toughest fight was against an unorthodox Swede named... Oh, Jesse Valdez had the same problem against a Peruvian in 72 in Munich. So did Muhammad Ali in Rome when he was Cassius Clay. So you see Breland and you quickly see the signs of the professional. The loose and easy movements. Keeping the hands down, but he's quick enough to do it as Muhammad Ali was. The use of the ring steadily. Moving, moving, moving. Solomon the brawler trying to be the aggressor. Get in there, but quick, how quick-handed Mark Breland is. You don't want to overrate him because he had a terrible time with Luciano Bruno. But now he is just leveling Sol Solomon with punches. I mean, Lewis Howard, forgive me. Howard gives up six inches in height, he gives up a lot in reach. and out the corner now, covering well. Freeland does that beautifully. He's got the mark and stamp of a professional. Sparring with Thomas Hearns did not hurt him. Still, Howard's a tough kid. Inside 30 seconds. 
second. First round. I'll tell you, I give Howard credit for fighting back. It's cleanly Breland's round. But give Howard some credit. Good right there. You saw it by Breland. Another right and a left and a right and a left. Quick hands. Howard trying to fight back, but Breland covering. We're back. Fort Worth, Texas. Mark Breland quickly out to go against Lewis Howard using that left. Howard trying to fight back in the first round and deserving credit for that. Best Howard ever was when I saw him was in the Pan Am games when he knocked out the Cuban Aguilar, or at least the referee stopped the contest in the second round.